Excellent outing. Um, pitched in extremely well. Um, that added value to his slider. Um, instead of fouling it off, they were missing it. Um, but very aggressive with his fastball inside. Uh, had command with his fastball to both sides of the plate. Um, and, it, and it showed. And he, he had a chance there. He gave up the one run. Um, but he did a very good job of limiting it to one run and then coming back out for the next inning and going right back to business, back on the inside part of the plate. It was a very impressive start for him, and it was good to see that for him. And hopefully we, t we start taking that on as we go. Hopefully he saw how it worked inside, and he takes that with him for the rest of the year because he'll have success if he does that. And he set the tone right away of being aggressive on, on the base pass and jumping out to the early lead. How, how big was that? Yeah. We need, we need to be more aggressive because in this league, you can force mistakes. Um, they made a mistake and then we forced a mistake right behind it. They have two errors after one hitter. Um, and we were sitting in a really good spot. We actually scored a run that day and we didn't even have a hit. Um, and it just goes to show you the power of aggression if, you, if you're smart about it and you're actively seeking out those opportunities um, because they, they present themselves every inning if you can spot them and be alert enough to take advantage of it. It was really good to, to I mean, we've scored the last three games in the first inning. But tonight, they came back, and then we came back. Um, so we shut that down early. Whereas the past couple times, we've scored first, and they were able to answer back, and then we can't answer. They've kind of grabbed a little bit of momentum. So tonight, we, we took the momentum from them. Um, and, and we've been talking about that in the past couple days, about how we need to have more shutdown innings on the mound um, after we score, and then at the same time, if they come back, we've got to come right back and, and steal the momentum right back. Um, takes the wind right out of their sails. And we did that tonight. You saw how, how as the game went on, we, we slowly took it over. Um, so, yeah, the aggression was, was, was key to that. Hibby had a lot of success out of the bullpen in Iowa this year. He, he comes in here, I think he's unscored upon uh, yet, and that gives you another 6'6 six, six right-hander coming out of the bullpen. What does he, what does he bring? Big, tall guy. Uh, got got very good angle um, on his fastball. That makes it hard to makes it hitters got to be perfect because um, it's only in the hitting spot for a split second. Um, you either square it up or you're going to foul it off. Um, and it's what allows him tonight. He got runners at third base and they weren't able to score because his fastball played so well. He also threw some really good breaking balls tonight um, and and kind of kept them off balance. And then with the fastball had the deception. He's, he's tough to hit as tall as he is. Tough. And I think a lot of these younger hitters maybe haven't seen pitchers quite like him before. So, but he's he's impressive so far. I like him. A lot of these guys, their first small road trip of their professional career. What, what do you tell them as you head out on this? I mean, I told them last trip buy some foam, little foam mattress things, lay them out on the floor, and they were like, hmm, that's a good idea. I've been here before, I've done this. Um, you need to find a way to spread out. Uh, try not to be cramped the whole time. Um, it's good that we have the off day with it um, so that they can kind of learn from this one a little bit and maybe get better at it the next time. But this league is going to be full of learning experiences for these guys, um, whether it be trips, whether it be situations in games, whether it be stuff off the field, um, constant learning. So, so it'll be interesting to see how they react after this, this long road trip comes. But it's part of the game. It doesn't get any easier as you get older. Plane rides aren't even fun. You know, people think, oh, well, once I get on the jet, no, not when you catch that red eye and you got a game the next day at seven. So, um, learning experience. We'll see what happens and we'll try to prepare these guys and see what happens.